Oh, hey, Ryan. What's with the perplexed look there, bro? <laughs> Holy missing pieces, Batman. I have no idea where anything goes. Oh, uh, we have major problem then. What? I have no idea where anything goes either. I was kind of counting on you for that. What's up, jammers? Happy Kick the Bread Coats Day. Fourth of July, baby. Hey, Arca. no offense to all of our British friends. And all of my family that are British. <laughs> well, what are we doing today, Ryan? Let's get after it. We're putting the interior back in. Oh the my goodness. most anticipated day yes. of our young lives. <laughs> I think it's been like four to six weeks, something like that, that we have uh, removed this. And can we just be honest? I don't remember how it goes back in. How about you, Ryan? I know the stuff that's out of it goes in it. <laughs> that's about it. Well, you guys need to watch and see how this goes, because this has got to be interesting, it's right? It's going to be good. I'm not going to lie. A little bit nervous. <laughs> yeah, let's get this thing vacuumed out so we can get it all cleaned up while everything's out of it, so then we can get to get this stuff in. So while we got this here, we're gonna go ahead and pull the old airbag out, put the new one in. Uh, so should be pretty simple. You got these three barbs right here. Yeah. And they're, they're, they press in and they lock in place. And so on the bottom of this steering wheel, there's holes and just like an Allen key basically. And you see this hole right here and you just push this in there and it should, there, you see the bag pop? No. Let's do it again. Push it back down. I'm gonna push it right in here. Push it in. See the bag pop up? Yep, yep. So I'm gonna do this side. Same thing as that side. There it went up, and then there's one on the bottom. There it goes. You want to show them how to pull those clips out? Yeah. Really pretty simple. So there's a like a little teat right here, clip I guess, here and here. Just pull on those and then you pull it out. And then once you get one, it's a lot easier to get the other. Yeah, and they're color coded too. Look at the back. Yep. So you've got a gray and a black. And this one's... And then we have a gray and a black here. Yep, so new one. We put the gray one in the black. <laughs> No. What? Gray wood to gray. Black to black. Oh, I thought it was opposite attract. <laughs> Guess that's only in mathematics or something. Yeah, right? Hey. Yeah. So if you're doing this normally on a normal vehicle. Yeah. Where your dashboard is not laying on the floor like ours is. What would be a precaution you might want to take, right? Well, so whenever dealing with airbags or any of this stuff, you want to make sure first that you disconnect your bat battery on it. Uh -huh, that's um, a good idea. So you remove power. And then uh, you could, there is there is a possibility uh, some explosion may occur. I know, I think I was the one that tested this last time, right? Yep. All right, so wait, wait, wait. So now we're gonna get ready to yep. install. Yep, so you, you line it all up and you push it in.
I'm feeling for it right now. Go ahead, tell me where I need to go. All right, go ahead. Uh, can you straighten the wobble? All right. Can you straighten the wobble? That's You're really close right there. It needs to go more towards the uh, front bumper. Right there. Right there? Yep. You're just below, you're to the back bumper about a quarter of an inch. Make sense? Yeah, hold on. Let me close my eyes. I can see better when my eyes are closed. <laughs> I think I got it. Try to start it by hand if you can. Got it. Nice. I think. Yeah, I got it. I'm telling you, bro, closing them eyes. Better. Uh, you can see so much better when you have your eyes closed, man. <laughs> Ooh, wait. That's it. I can feel it. I thought you lost it for a second. I closed my eyes, I can feel it, man. I swear to yeah, you. I thought you lost the, the screw down in there. I was like, oh no. I, I know it's silly, but when I close my eyes, it's almost like I hear the metal and I can feel it like laying in the hole. Like I can see, visually see it in my mind's eye. Isn't that crazy? Huh? You have a gift, Ryan. I'm basically a seeing eye blind man. You're what? A I'm, a, blind I'm basically man? a seeing eye blind man. I do. I'm telling you, man, it's. I, I was having issues lining it up. I closed my eyes. I heard that little metal scrap. Yeah. And then I heard it drop. I, I could hear it drop in the hole. It's like the car communicates with me on a different level. You have a gift. Ryan, you have a gift. I mean, I've been told I'm gifted, but. I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if this is what they meant. Sometimes. I've tried to visualize with the, I'm a blind seeing eye. You're gonna have to move that out of my way. I'm a blind seeing eye. Cause I see better with my eyes closed. I do. I'm like a blind man with sight. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy. You're like a, a selective blind man. It's crazy. You can select when you want the extra sense. I can, I can do it. I can turn it off. Say, hey, close my eyes, and now all of a sudden I can hear and feel so much better. Comment below if you got the same disorder. No, it's a gift. Gift, sorry. It's not a, it's not a disorder, it's a gift. Uh, I'm gifted, I'm sorry, I keep forgetting. I'm like one of them extra men. You know one of them extra men with the dude in the wheelchair and the hairy dude with the things come out of his hands? The X-Men? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I'm, what did you call him? Extra men. The extra men. <laughs> I'm like one of them there fellers. Yeah, you yeah. are. Well, do they have one that's like kind of a, a hairy one? Yeah, no. Wolverine. Yeah, no, he's they hairy. got like one that can like can sense stuff if he touches it with his eyes closed. Yeah, Doctor X. I'm Doctor Xer. Is it because you're a Gen Xer? No, you're a millennial. I'm a millennial. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, the snowflake, Ryan. No, don't you say that. I'm triggered. <laughs> Hey, I'm gonna take these glasses off so all you well, viewers- you don't need them. You don't need them. Well, I want the viewership to see the eyes. Notice they are closed. Now watch, folks. As I become one with the metal, I will be able to engage it in a way that allows me to slip the bolt into the hole without any knowledge or sight of where it is going. Stay tuned. Starts, you got it. it I started. got it. It sound, It felt it. It, it felt. You felt it too. You felt it through the car. I really didn't need to say that. I felt. For a it. second there, I did have my eyes closed. You're doing it too. <laughs> you were using your whoopsaw power to guide me with your eye bulbs closed. I was. I was guiding it with my will. I love it. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Okay, now, folks, you've seen. The miracle of a blind seeing eye man. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Blind seeing eye man. All right, guys. So 
check it out. We got the dashboard in. All but two harnesses are figured out. The rest we can't really figure out right now, but we're not worried about that because we'll, we're not starting the truck today. So now we're gonna get the all oh, our SRS modules installed. That wire is a booger. The way they run it, they not only run it underneath the carpet, but they run it under the seat duct for the air conditioning. So it makes for uh, quite an adventure. Um, we got this one bracket left to install here. And then it's console, driver, passenger. Now the plan is is just to connect the negative terminal and then just put it on ACC and see if what we got. Seats are working. Hey! How who, who was scared? <laughs> you, were. Uh -huh. you were. You were. You're like, uh, that's not turning on. Um, what did we miss? All right, guys. As you can see, it was a pretty big day. It was a huge day. Monumentous. We did we something. Would be, we would be way more excited if we weren't so tired, right? <laughs> Freaking white, dude. It's like hot out here, man. <laughs> I'm too fat hot. and old for this. I know, and we helped push that guy, uh, push his car up the hill. Oh, <laughs> that's what did it. I know, right? We wouldn't be so bad, but, you know, good Samaritan. It was worth it, bro. It was. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. We were a little bit questionable as to whether we knew how to put this back together. We didn't have a clue. We just kind of flew by the seat of our But you know what? It went back together and... Pretty as far, smoothly. As far as I know, the only casualty is Ryan lost my socket down the front of the dash. Again, I want to clarify. <laughs> I did not lose it. I knew exactly where it is. It's unreachable. We can't so, even. We can't even see it. Anyway, on that note, please uh, please make sure you comment, subscribe, not uh, hit the notification bell. Yeah, it really does help us. Yes. Uh, especially with subscribing, we're on our way to a thousand. And we need your help. And we would love it. Please just. Hit that button, hit subscribe, do it right now. And on that note, we'll see you next time. Generation!